Several black-clad gunmen turned a bright California day into a dark nightmare Wednesday afternoon. So this originally started off at 11 o'clock this, uh, this morning, late this morning, early afternoon. We received a call here at the Inland Regional Center, 1400 block of South Waterman, of a shooting. It was quickly apparent that we had what amounted to an active shooter situation. Uh, there was a massive law enforcement response that in initially uh, was officers from our department that responded. And then very quickly, as word spread uh, through the region, we had a massive mutual aid response from virtually every law enforcement agency in the immediate area. The heavily armed trio, possibly garbed in body armor, stormed into the Inland Regional Center in San Bernardino and opened fire. What we have so far is information to that um, up to three people had entered the building and had opened fire on people inside of the building. Uh, we do have uh, some preliminary numbers of upwards of 14 people that are dead and upwards of 14 people that are injured. Uh, we think those are pretty reliable, but keep in mind those are potentially subject to change. They are preliminary numbers. Several people who were either trapped or took to hiding in the building called loved ones during the shooting. She called me. And what did she say when you answered her phone? She was whispering. That's all she did. She was whispering. And she said they were in a room locked up because there were shooters and that she thinks they were in another building, but she wasn't positive. And then she was going to turn off the lights and then she had to go because I don't think they wanted to talk. Just in case the shooters were there, I don't think she wanted to get shot. So, of course, you're going to be quiet, and we hung up. With a massacre in their wake, the gunmen took off in a black SUV. Police soon caught up to them, however. A brief chase ended with the SUV full of bullet holes and shattered glass. It is believed at least one suspect was killed, another wounded. It is unclear what happened to the third suspected gunman. The motive for the attack remains unknown. So I don't know what kind of cycle would do that. But I hope they're caught. And actually, to tell you the truth, I hope they're shot. Because if I had a gun, I'd probably shoot it myself. And I don't care if that's for the record.